Today's lesson is on parallel lines cutting proportional statements. Remember that yesterday's lesson was on mid-segment. So as we look at the answers to the homework, please notice that the mid-segment is always half of the length of the side it's parallel to, and that it cuts the other sides in half because it intersects at a midpoint. When you take a look at number 27, if you find the length of OE, or sorry, DE, that's equal to the square root of 13. We're looking for the length of BC. So to do that, we multiply the square root times 2. And that gives us our answer. When you look at number 28, uh, you can see that the slopes are equal, which means the lines are parallel because negative 6 over 6 and negative 2 over 2 are both equal to 1. And then we find out that it's not a mid-segment because when we divide 72, the square root of 72 by 2, we do not get the same as the square root of 8. In problem 33, since we have a mid-segment, we know that the other side is 2 times the mid-segment, and that is why we write the equation 5x plus 3, 5x, sorry, 5 thirds x plus 11 equals 2x plus 2. Then we distribute the 2, so we get 2x plus 4 equals 5 thirds x plus 11. Then we subtract the 5 thirds from both sides, so we have 6 thirds take away 5 thirds is 1 third. And then when we divide 7 by 1 third, we don't get a fraction, we actually get a whole number. Because when you divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by a reciprocal. So the answer turns out to be... Now for today's lesson, we're wondering why um, angle 1 and angle 2 are congruent. If we think back to what we did in unit 2, we know they're congruent because they're corresponding angles, and those are always congruent when we have parallel lines. That's going to be important for today's lesson. So in this problem, we want to know what in this picture will be congruent. We know we have parallel lines, so we know we have congruent angles. In this picture, it's sort of like what we were working yesterday, except for one thing. Is BD a mid-segment? Let's take a look at our clues. Some students thought it was yes, some said no, some said they didn't know. So we want to see if B is a midpoint. If B is a midpoint, 8 and 3 would be equal, but they're not, so we know B isn't a midpoint. We do know, however, we have similar triangles, so we can set up a proportion to solve for X. Also, when this happens, there are other things we can do to solve the problem which we're going to talk about today. So we get x equals 4 and a half. Let's take a look at this one. Something else that happens when we have this, when we have parallel lines, we can actually look at just the segment pieces. So we can write a proportion about x and 11, and 12 and 22. 
and we'll get a correct answer. The same answer as if we looked at the complete side. So we find that x is equal to 12. There are several ways to set up this problem as long as we know the lines are parallel. We can set it up like this with cross multiplying. We get 10x plus 100 equals 30x. Or we could turn it around and set it up another way and we still get the same equation when we cross multiply. So no matter how you set it up, if you do it correctly, you get the same answer of x equals 5. This problem doesn't even have a triangle in it. It could, but we don't need a triangle. All we need are parallel lines to know that they cut proportional segments. Once we do that, we can solve. This turns out to be a quadratic equation, so we need to make it equal to zero. We combine our like terms. factor out common factors and we find out that x could either be 0 or 8. A 0 doesn't work in the problem because we can't have a side that's 0 so the answer is 8. Now go ahead and do your homework. If you need to go back and review you may do so and pause where you need more time.